this is the hoof bag here and today um, we are fixing up um, Tom, Tom, Tom Carter of YouTube, Tom Carter, whatever. I don't really have one anymore. So. Well, he has. <laughs> He's got a brilliant website. And this is an electro harmonics, which doesn't work when you plug the power supply in. It only works from batteries. So what we're going to do is we're going to fit, um, make it so that the, uh, hey, the, the input supply, the supply from the power comes from from the socket and into where the battery connection is. But in order to do that, we have to insert what's known as a voltage regulator. In this case, a 78LO. Is it a 78LO? LO. 78L09. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So let's get going. We have to undo that one. Um, yeah, we'll take that one off. Positive 9 volts, that's it. Um, let's just do a continuity test between there and there. Um, just make sure that we've got um, continuity between this negative connection and that one. Yes, it's, it's a common ground, that's no problem. Reading zero. Right, so, um, pulling the plastic off. I'm trying to remember which way round these go, I'm sure. Input, output, earth. Sounds like a good band name. Input, output, earth, yeah. yeah a bit of prog. Prog band. Right, it says the yellow one. Is it round that way? Oh, yes, there we go. Let's just put a bit of light on it. I'm just trying to find out which way round the um, positive input should go. And there we are. It goes up there. Uh, it goes from there to that way around. So that is exactly, that is ground. Yep, that's the ground. That one's ground there. That's ground. Okay, so that must be the output goes there. Okay, um, ground goes from there to there. Okay, so um, in which case that is the positive. Pair of uh, what sits. <clears throat> leaded solder because nothing else works these days suck the solder fumes away because that can make you very ill or me anyway uh, like that. and then we go like that uh, so we can have the negative the negative one so we'll pop that one there like that that's the positive in And the middle one is negative, so that goes there. Removing the uh, the old battery. Don't need that. Put that back, it's fallen off. We didn't want him to do that. There we are. So, um, the thing to do now is to disconnect that red one, which should be there, like that. Let me just pop, pop that off like this. There we go. Pull him out the hole. That goes over to here. Oops, what fell down? Piece of paper. There's always rubbish in this place. Let's just strip him back a little bit so we've got a really good connection. There we go. Oops. Doesn't want to come off, so I just roll him up. Um, right, so we should put a bit of heat shrink around that one, I think. Uh, right. Next thing. Solder it. And that should be it. So, what problem there is we've got this hang, hanging in the breeze, so I thought perhaps what we could do um, is to test it. I think we should test it before we go any further. Yeah. Okay, so we'll pause the, the movie and see how we get along. Go. 
just an initial test to see if what we've decided to do has come to fruition. So where's the power lead? explain it okay right so continuing with the repair on the electro harmonics um, what's it called again pulsar pulsar variable shape tremolo by okay um, we, the idea of it is we're going to do away with the battery power altogether because that's not necessary we don't use it and make it so it runs off uh, AC power unit and it's it's original um, power in had broken that's, that's why we right. couldn't that's do it. The original Those in, uh, input to shitty yeah. headphone jack power thing had totally gone. Yeah, so. that, that's one of the problems. So we're gonna we don't need the um, the uh, battery connector anymore. So that comes out. It's unnecessary. So we say bye bye to that. It's for your collection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, then this is the problem. We don't like, in the words of. Um, David Jones of um, the the channel uh, EV blog. We don't want anything flapping in the breeze. Okay, David. So if you're watching this, some of what you say does have an impact on people. Now, in order to prevent that, we just need in order to prevent this from flapping in the breeze, we need to um, terminate it. So my idea is to take a chunk of this stuff, which is sawn off printed circuit board, glue it on the board there. And use that as our anchoring point. So we've got super glue and we've got the strips of this stuff. Okay, so let me cut that like that. So we've got a little square like this. Put a blob of super glue on there, like that. A little tiny blob, not very much. The less, sometimes it's one of these situations known as the less, less is more. So then we slide that into place, like so. Whoopsie daisy. So that it doesn't cross any other connections. And this is a good mod that anyone can do if they have the same problem with... Um... Now, okay, it could be reasonably argued that, oh, why don't you just replace the 9 volt regulator that has gone wrong inside it and that would be a proper job. However, it looks to me like these knobs weren't supposed to come off. There's no screw anywhere and certainly not um, collet knobs. And we've tried pulling and unless we get levers under there or spoons is usually the choice, we don't want to damage the lovely finish. So this we think is a better alternative than to cause what they call, uh, was it? Uh, cosmetic trauma to the case and that will be now set so now we connect that to there like that just make sure there's no there's no um and there we go uh, put a little bit of pressure on there like so and solder blow said the actress of the bishop get rid of the fumes and that should be an effective repair. So there we are. Amazing. That's, I'll be that's putting that, that on the yeah, putting that on my pedal board. Yep. Great, thank you, Liz. You're welcome. Hoof bag. Hoof bag. Right now I've noticed that some of these connections, if you look very closely, they've been fr they're slightly frosted up there. Frosted. Um if you can see those. So when you see that it's always a good idea to Refloat the joint, it's what we call it in the trade. Refloating. It does it does help uh, to prevent the joint from corroding anymore. Mm. There's another lot of them up here on the rocker switch. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. 
Do you think they're well built? These nineties. It would VHS seem so. Yeah, it's design. a nice. It's a nice, yeah. it, anyway. yeah, uh, nice printed circuit board. I like the sound of it. Anyway. Yeah, the printed circuit board is um, fiberglass. Okay, glass fiber. Um, so it's glass uh, like strings or like a mat as dipped in resin. Mm. Now the the usual. Um, uh, one of the you've got this stuff which is paxiline now that's supposed to be good for low noise whereas the fiberglass ones are preferred for high frequencies however it would seem i mean the difference is with hair's width you don't get really worried about it certainly at audio frequencies so it's a nicely made printed circuit board certainly yeah you know, i couldn't do any better than that so there we go i would suggest we put that back together and call it a done job thank you for watching Bye.